Attorney General Abbott joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. All right, so I have your letter here that you wrote to the uh, Bureau of Land Management. Uh, so what's the story? Well, Greta, this is alarming and, and disturbing because uh, private property owners in Texas have owned this land that abuts up against the Red River for generations, and they've cultivated, and they've, they've produced off of it. And now, seemingly out of the blue, the federal government is coming in and trying to seemingly stake a claim to what we think is private property owned by Texans. Uh, and so what we are doing is firing off this letter uh, to the Bureau of Land Management to find out exactly what it is they are looking into, because we feel that, for one, at a minimum, uh, they are overreaching, trying to grab land that belongs to Texans, uh, or worse, they're violating due process rights by just claiming that this land suddenly belongs to the federal government, swiping it away from our Texans. Well, you, apparently you're not the only one who, do, who, who doesn't like that. Uh, Wendy Davis, who is your opponent in the uh, race for governor, her communications director released this statement which says, Wendy Davis strongly opposes any potential seizure of private property from Texans by the Bureau of Land Management. So it seems almost good, at least uh, universal between the two, two of you who headed to fighting over the job as governor. You both don't like this. Well, and no one likes the federal government sticking their nose into Texas's business, uh, which is why I've already filed 30 lawsuits against the Obama administration overreaching uh, federal government. What we've seen, Greta, this is just the latest symptom of what seems to be a federal government run amok uh, that is messing in states' rights, uh, now messing in private property rights. Uh, and what? from the very beginning of the founding of this country, this country was based upon the rule of law and private property rights. And for the federal government to trample both of those fundamental principles is just flat wrong. And as the Attorney General of Texas, I'm going to be weighing in, working side by side with these private property owners to ensure that both the rule of law and private property rights are respected by the federal government in the state of Texas. And it's sort of interesting because they have deeds, at least some of the deeds, I'm not sure exactly where the property lines are, but they have deeds and they've been paying taxes uh, for years. But what, what, why would the federal government even want this land? What's in it for them? That's one of the questions that we have. We don't have a clue uh, why they're trying to claim it, uh, what basis they have to claim it on. Uh, what we do know is that the federal government themselves came out uh, in the mid-1990s and said that they really needed an act of Congress to try to sort this out. Well, after that, Texas did uh, engage in a compact with Oklahoma, and we actually got an act of Congress to come out and say where the dividing line was, what property belongs to Texas, and we've been operating under that a presumption ever since that act of Congress well, passed, uh, only now to have the federal government in, come in and try to stake a claim to it. Well, the BLM says that they aren't doing this, that, they are, that, they're, that they're not moving in to take this land. So they say they're not even doing this. Right. And, and, you know, one hand is saying one thing, the other hand is saying the other thing, and we're trying to f figure out exactly what claims they are staking. If they're saying they're not taking any Texas land, that's fine. However, that does contradict other statements that the BLM is making. And if they do come in and take the land, you're going to do what? We will be seeing them in court because this is land that belongs to Texans, and we're going to be fighting for those Texans and their private property rights and the rule of law in a court. And we believe the courts will favor Texas in this fight. Attorney General, thank you, sir. Thank you, Greta.